Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use smartphone connection to remotely control your Sony ZV-E10. First, use your phone to download the Imaging Edge app. Take your camera, go to menu, and then this little globe icon. In this page, you will see smartphone connect. If you cannot go into this page, it's probably because you are in airplane mode. So just go down and turn off the airplane mode. After you go into smartphone connect, make sure the first one smartphone connection is on and then go down to the second item connection and then a QR code will pop out. All right, now take out your phone, go to imaging edge that you have just downloaded if it's the first time you use smartphone connection, you will have to scan the QR code on your camera in order to register. Choose join the network, and then you can start remotely control your camera by your phone. Now you can choose either to import in-camera images or remote shooting. Let's talk about remote shooting first. This function is very helpful when you are shooting long exposure photos. The slowest shutter speed on the camera is only 30 seconds. So if you want it to be even longer, you will have to use Bob mode. When you choose Bob mode, it means that the shutter will remain open as long as you press on the button. So it means that you can take a long exposure photo of a few minutes long. Without remote shooting, you will need a shutter release cable. So now with this smartphone connection, you can just control with your phone. Turn this pop button on and turn it off when you think it's long enough. This will eliminate camera shaking because basically you are not touching your camera at all when you control it remotely. Keep in mind that there is no timer in this app and you cannot use another timer app in your phone because once you leave this app, the connection will just go off. So you had better wear a watch or something you can keep track of time when you are shooting long exposure photos. Another reminder is that if you cannot go to bot mode, it is probably because you are using silent shooting. Just press Fn and turn off the silent shooting, and then you can use bot mode. You can also use this app to import photos from your camera to your phone. Choose import in camera images and select the date that you want, and then the photos that you want. Now go to the photo gallery in your phone. Those images that you selected are already there. So it's very easy. This is today's video. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.